had a few questions this week on how to do a bolt hole circle. So I'm actually going to show two things in this. I want to show you guys how to do a bolt hole circle as well as how to actually use uh, what's called a turned copy. It'll help make things like gears uh, significantly easier to set up. So the first thing you do is go into your elements and then find anything that's an actual circle on your part. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but something that gives you a, a base center to work off of. Once you've got that, grab, say, your circle tool, and we'll click three places around the edge of the part that we're interested in. Hit apply, and we'll drop that in. From here, I can actually click on my part, go to edit, turn copy, and then I select my inside circle, the object that I want to have it rotate around. It makes a duplicate that I can then move and adjust to wherever I want it to end up. And then you can actually key in what that actual degree should be. From here, I can just hit Next, and it'll jump to the next location. Next, next, so on and so forth. So now it's put that same object the whole way around. I can hit Measure, and it'll attach them all at once. So did your bolt hole circle. Go into your virtual figures, hit your OLS circle, and at this point we actually just click on each of the circles that we would like included in our bolt hole circle. You can see it's actually adjusting as we go around. Now you have your bolt hole circle. So we can go into our basics, go to circle, click on it, place the diameter size and input our tolerances. That's it. You want to do concentricity between them, you can now do it to this and your inside circle. Hope that helps.